Well, the pinkest party on earth is back. The Cherry Blossom Festival is making a return this week after being canceled last year due to the pandemic. 40 NBC's Ariel Schiller tells us how the festival will look different this year. Preparations are underway for the Cherry Blossom Festival. Even though the weather is gray and gloomy, soon Macon will be covered in pink. The Cherry Blossom Festival is Macon's signature event for the spring. The festival was canceled last year because of the pandemic. Ara Adams, marketing and events manager for the Cherry Blossom Festival, told us off camera they are excited the festival is back this year. They will have the events people know and love from years past, but COVID protocols will be in place. We spoke with Beth Tapp, owner of Beaver Concessions, about what they're doing to keep their customers safe. We have been taking preparation in wearing masks and social distancing and to go at forks and stuff in wraps and we're putting everything in bags and we're working with a shield in the window. Tap says they're blessed the festival is back this year. She says she's been coming to the festival since she was a little girl. She also used to bring her daughters to the festival in wagons. Her father used to own the elephant ear stand and when he passed, she took over. It's part of our life. We love it. We look very forward to coming down here. Valerie Bradley, vice president of marketing at Visit Macon says they've advertised the festival on social media and Digital advertising for several months. They've also prepared the visitor center for the influx of people coming to Macon for the festival. She says they're excited for the economic impact it will bring. Our businesses, our museums, our attractions will um, be able to have these visitors that will be coming to explore all there is to see and do here in our city, especially coming from last year when we did not have the festival. Caroline Childs, executive director of Keep Macon Bit Beautiful, says they've worked to clean up the community ahead of the festival. She says they'll be selling cherry trees in the round building for $15 each. They'll have about 700 trees available for sale. Child says it's exciting the festival is back. Hopefully we have some great weather and it really brings people um, outdoors and in, enjoying all the activities that the Cherry Blossom Festival has planned. Tap says she's excited to see the festival goers after not being able to see them last year. Come out and get an elephant ear, a hamburger, and a taco, and a corn, and a lemonade. Just come enjoy life. In Macon, Ariel Schiller, 41 NBC News. Well, the festival is 10 days long. We'll have a list of events you can attend on our website at 41NBC.com.